Alejandro Jodorowsky was born in 1929 in Chile to Russian Jewish immigrants. There he lived an unhappy childhood. Later as a college student, he moved to France where he studied aside famed mime Marcel Marceau. And it was not long before he turned to film and introduced his unique style onto the world. His breakout film was El Topo, released in 1970, but that wasn't his first. That would be Fando Yi Lee's, released a couple years earlier, but we're going further. This is Alejandro Jodorowsky's very first short film, La Cravate, made all the way back in 1957. It was long thought to be lost until a private collector found it in his collection as recent as 2006. It is included in the films by Jodorowsky box set, which includes Fando Yi Lee's El Topo and The Holy Mountain and it is the only place in which you can find the short film on home video as far as I know. It is a silent film, also referred to as La Tête's Introvertis, because the story centers around a man, played by Jodorowsky himself, who goes into a shop to change his head. That may sound weird, but that's because it is. In this strange world, changing your physical head is just as normal as getting a haircut. Look at this. The girl literally unscrews the head off the body like a light bulb and puts it on a shelf for display like hats. And they still function too. The set designs are enjoyably amateur. And you gotta love how they use editing tricks to show the head replacements. You see, if this were a big budget film with professional staff, I feel that the whole concept behind this short would be ruined due to its realism. But this unexperienced style adds a certain magic to a film, making the idea of changing heads more palpable to the audience. The main plot is about our hero trying to win the heart of this purple-dressed geisha lady. Jodorowsky here has such an expressive body and face which pretty much defines his shrimpy character right there. No dialogue necessary, especially when confronted by a big, tough-looking muscle man early on. He tries on different hats in an attempt to win over his lady, but at some point he loses his original head, which has been taken by the head seller, who has grown fond of him. She replaces the brute's head with the original one and gives it to the local beggar, and the two finally fall in love. That's all I think you have to know about this short. That said, is this piece of work actually worth someone's time? Well, there are no intertitles throughout this movie. The story is all told via mime, and that could bore some people, unfortunately. Yes, it's a basic requirement for all film fans to have at least some taste for silent cinema, but this is more of an artsy type of silent film, so it is not exactly for everyone, even though it's only 20 minutes long, shorter than many people claim. So what is my verdict? If you're a big Jodorowsky fan, check it out. Otherwise, I would recommend to see as much more famous work before you lay your hands on this. My rating, three and a half severed heads out of five.